Now let us move on to the ninth question. The question is classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. So let's move on to the solution. So we take the first bit. So we need to classify whether square root of 23 is a rational or irrational. The decimal expansions of those numbers which are non-terminating and recurring or terminating are called rational numbers and the decimal expansions of those numbers which are non-terminating and non-recurring are irrational numbers. Since here 23 is not a perfect square, the decimal expansion of square root of 23 is non-terminating and non-recurring. The decimal expansion can be found out using the long division method. So when we find, we obtain the value square root of 23 is equal to 4.79583153 and so on. Here the decimal expansion is non-terminating and the digits are not repeating. Therefore, square root of 23 is an irrational number. Now let us move on to the second bit. So here we need to classify square root of 225 is a rational or an irrational number. Here 225 is a perfect square. The decimal expansion of square root of 225 is terminating. Therefore, let us find the value of square root of 225 using the long division method. Now let us place bars on each pair of digits starting from the left. So we have obtained two pairs, one is two and 25. Now the nearest square for two is one since one times one is one. So now the remainder is one. Now we bring down the next pair that is 25. Therefore the new dividend is 125. To obtain the new divisor, we shall double the quotient that is 1 becomes 2 with a blank beside it. Now we shall think of a number such that the new divisor multiplied with the digit gives a number which is less than or equal to the new dividend. So such a number is 5 since 25 times 5 is equal to 125 which is exactly divisible. Therefore, 25 times 5 is 125. Therefore, the remainder is 0. Hence, the long division stops here. Therefore, square root of 225 is equal to 15, where 15 is a rational number. Therefore, square root of 225 is also a rational number. Now, let us move on to the third bit. Here, we need to classify 0.3796 is a rational or an irrational number. A number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating but recurring is a rational number. A number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-recurring is an irrational number. So here the decimal expansion given is terminating decimal expansion therefore 0 0.3796 is a rational number. Now let us move on to the fourth bit. Here we need to classify whether 7.478, 478 and so on is a rational or an irrational number. A number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating but recurring is a rational number. Whereas a number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-recurring 
is an irrational number. Here the given decimal expansion 7.478478 and so on is non-terminating but the digits 478 are repeating. Therefore this comes under non-terminating but recurring. Therefore 7.478478 and so on is a rational number. Now let us move on to the fifth bit. Here we need to classify whether 1.101, 001, 0001 and so on is a rational or an irrational number. The number whose decimal expansion is terminating, non-terminating but recurring is a rational number. Whereas a number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-recurring is an irrational number. In the given decimal expansion, the decimal is non-terminating and also the digits are not repeating. Therefore, this comes under non-repeating and non-recurring. Therefore, 1.101, and so on is an irrational number. A number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating but recurring is a rational number. A number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-recurring is an irrational number.